Hello there. So with 51 days to go to the official Brexit day, what is happening to the UK economy? I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a short update on some of the data coming out of the Office for National Statistics about the UK economy. You know, the despite Brexit bit. Firstly, our balance of trade. The total UK trade deficit, that's both goods and services, narrowed by £14.9 billion to just £2.9 billion in the three months to July. Now let's point out that this is largely due to a hefty drop in the imports of goods now that the Project Fear warehouses are all full, and imports will get back to their normal levels over the next few months. On GDP, after the contraction we saw of 0.2% in the three months to June together with the warnings of an impending recession, the three months to July saw GDP remain steady at zero growth. But in July alone, the UK economy saw GDP rise by 0.3%. And on employment, the UK employment rate in the three months to July was 76.1%, the joint highest on record. And at 3.8%, the unemployment rate is lower than at the same time last year. And the economic inactivity rate has also fallen to 20.8%, once again, lower than last year. Overall, the Labour Force survey estimates that there were 32.78 million people aged 16 and over in employment. That's 369,000 more than last year. And the latest inflation figures are for July and CPI was 2.1%, just about on the government target of 2%. And let's look at wages, shall we? On this, the ONS says estimated annual growth in average weekly earnings for employees in Great Britain was 4% for total pay, which includes bonuses, and 3.8% for regular pay, which excludes bonuses. In real terms, after adjusting for inflation, annual growth in total pay is estimated to be 2.1% and annual growth in regular pay is estimated to be 1.9%, said the ONS. So that's real wage increases for real people. And all this is not despite Brexit. It's despite the best efforts by many in Parliament and the wider establishment to suffocate the economy in the hopes of reversing Brexit. But what does the FT say about the German economy, that engine room of the Eurozone? Well, it's said, Factory production in Germany dropped in July, highlighting the weakening state of the Eurozone's biggest economy as it teeters on the brink of recession. And it quotes analysts from ING calling the prospects for German industry bleak. While the Telegraph says that the Federation of German Industry has warned that a no-deal Brexit could cause the German economy to maintain just about zero growth for the year. And the response from Remainer politicians is to make sure we can't use the threat of no deal to help broker a good agreement. You do have to ask which side our Remain infested parliament is on in these Brexit negotiations with the EU, don't you? Well, actually, you don't, because the answer sticks out like the proverbial sore thumb, doesn't it? Anyway, what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for listening. Please do like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.